Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right behind me, we have a beautiful Jeep Wagoneer. This is part two of the Wagoneer for a test drive and complete walk around. The first one, we had to do a comprehensive list of repairs before we were able to drive it more than a mile. So we had to do complete brakes. All of the vacuum lines needed to be replaced for the four wheel drive because the four wheel drive wasn't hooked up. Uh, the kick down cable wasn't hooked up properly. Carburetor had to be gone through. Uh, we went through uh, lock mechanisms. Uh, the steering column was about to fall into your hand, so they had to repair that as well. And now you actually have a true turnkey Jeep Wagoneer. Uh, very fun to drive. I've put a total of 30 miles on it since we've received it back from repair, and I love it. You've got a new set of tires on it, and today what we're gonna do is do a comp comprehensive walk around so you guys can decide if you wanna put this in your collection. Let's do it. Overall condition, I would rate this one a 7 out of 10, so that's a 70% out of 100. Extremely clean example. I love the burgundy paint with the faux wood trim on the side. Very easy to maintain, and it gives you that beautiful classic look that a Jeep Wagoneer Woody would have. All of your bright work is very nice and original. You do have minor imperfections on some of the trim here for the plastic coating. Your roof rack is very nice. All of your doors open and close easily with no issues. You do have a set of Michelin tires on here that have 99% tread and the interior has been redone. We'll go over that when we get inside. All of your glass goes up and down as it should. It's all power glass. Your, uh, your rear hatch and your rear glass work as well so we'll show you that working shortly. Um, wheels and tires are in great shape and the four wheel drive does operate so we were able to get the vacuum system to work because there was a switch that had no vacuum lines running to it so that was taken care of. Doors open and close as they should so I can open this door and close it with no issues. Same thing with the rear, no issues at all. Let's spin this truck and show you the passenger side. We'll pop the hood later on and then give you a nice guided tour of the interior and then jump on the road and show you what you can do. All right, I'm gonna start it up. This is a cold start. So the secret with these carburetors, before you start it, you do two consecutive pumps to reset the choke. Uh, this one actually has a little bit of temperature in it, so it's fired right up. Boop. Looking at the passenger side, it's the same as the driver's side in regards to condition. All of your body gaps are even. Your bumpers are driver quality, so they do have oxidation. The trim throughout is very nice. All of your glass is very nice. Once again, there are imperfections on this trim up top. Roof rack shows very well. Doors open and close just like the driver's side. And we give it that 70% rating because there are minor imperfections. This is an older Jeep, so you're gonna have minor scratches and nicks throughout. So please take a moment to click on the link below. That's gonna have a full gallery of complete walk around photos, inside photos, along with underside photos. There is one small area that has a rust bubble, so that's gonna be in the gallery. So click on the link to see that actual image. Front end looks very clean. All of your lights work, so that was the first thing we checked. Um, Full wheel drive works, as I said before. Uh, we've only used it in the high position just to ensure that it operates. How you engage that, we'll show you when we go for the test drive, but basically you turn on a vacuum switch and you roll the truck back and forth several, for s several times and then it engages the system. Exhaust is nice and please take a moment to click on the link below so you can see the underside shots. Overall, a very nice 7 out of 10. Let's spin it so you guys can see under the hood. Oh, actually we can't spin it, we're outside. Let's open the hood and get the camera closer. Looking under the hood, you have a very clean engine bay. Uh, carburetor has been updated. You do have a uh, new kick down linkage, which had to be modified. When we received it, it was not operating. Uh, air conditioned, so we didn't go through the air condition system because we've maxed out on our budget for the vehicle. We spent over $4,000 to just get it into the condition where you can actually jump in it and drive it as it is. Uh, what I've been told is the compressor needs to be replaced and then when you do that with these cars, I would replace a lot of other things as well. Blower motor and all the functions inside the cabin operate as they should. You have new belts throughout, radiator fluid is fresh, oil is fresh, brakes work perfectly and we'll show you that later on. All of your metal throughout is very nice. Uh, and by the way, if you do want to fix the air condition, we can get you a quote for it and we can get it done before it ships out. But right now with our budget for this project, we're capped out. 
Hoses are all good throughout for the power steering. We did do the rear main seal because it was leaking. Uh, it does have seepage from the transmission, which is common, but it's not major. Um, just trying to go over all the points here. If you were a buyer that's not going to come and take a look at it because we sell 90 percent of our inventory site unseen. We ship all over the United States, Canada, and overseas. So if you want to get a quote for that, you can click on our transport link. We'll be able to get you a quote for this beautiful Wagoneer. I'm going to close the hood right now, and I want to show you the really cool feature for the rear where the window goes down, and then we'll jump in it and take it for a test drive. Before I show you the neat feature of this rear tailgate, I did state that it was a maroon color. I would say that this is more so a garnet with metallic. Um, so if you're a Florida State fan, you get this thing and you put spears on the side and you guys will be number one fans. Go FSU. Let me lower the window. So all you do is go like this. Pretty trick. And then there's a handle back here. And you can lower it. Carpet shows its age. It is original. Minor imperfections throughout. There's no foul odors in this, uh, in this Wagoneer. Headliner is very nice. And it's just a cool piece. So if you guys are looking for a turnkey unit, this is it. We did all the hard work for you. Now all you have to do is enjoy it. Let me close this and we'll go for a test drive. Taking a look at the interior, it's very clean. Minor imperfections. So the, the dash pad has pulling over here. Your horn operates. Steering wheel has minor wear. This is the original leather wrapped steering wheel. Interior has been redone. So all of the uh, faux leather looks very nice. The striping is very nice and it's a two-tone design. You do have a center rest as well. Air conditioned blower motor operates as it should. You do have an, a radio that operates as well, so that turns on, I use that for the drive back. You can also uh, work your rear glass right here from the switch when you have ignition on. Gauges on the dash are operating. Even the oil pressure gauge is operating. Uh, power windows work. The side mirrors do not operate. The seat motor does operate as well. Goes back and forth. Headliner is very nice. You are missing the plastic cover for the uh, dome light, but otherwise, a very nice interior. I'm gonna show you the rear real quick and then we'll jump in it and go for a ride. We're in the back seat area right now. Same leather design throughout. Your carpet is original, but it shows well. No foul odors. I keep saying that because I've been in a lot of these Jeeps where you have like a moldy or musty smell or cigarette smell. That's not the case here. You do have ashtrays on both sides for your patrons. Headliner shows very well back here as well. And that's about it. I wanna jump in and take it for a test drive. All right, we're gonna take the wagon here for a test drive now. We're gonna bring it to our back road so we can show you the four-wheel drive working. We're gonna go through all the gears. Very smooth uh, transmission. Turn signals operate as they should. Your gauges are all operating as well, so we've got great oil pressure. Uh, speedometer works. Uh, our temperature is slowly rising and our fuel gauge operates as it should too. Um, in regards to the radio, radio does operate. So that works. Uh, blower motor, blower motor does operate. Power windows work. Drives really, really nice. Like you can push this through quarters, it feels comfortable. Brakes are even as well, so I can push the brakes. There's no pulling from left to right. So when we bought this, it was extremely beautiful. Everything that I could look at without test driving it, checked all the boxes, but we, as a, honest and reputable dealership, we can't just pass that along to somebody else where they're going to have all the issues. We have the ability to get these things repaired for a, a better rate than somebody else. So we took care of it. We made a, a list and sent it over to two reputable shops. We were able to remedy the majority of the issues. The only thing that we didn't remedy would be the air condition uh, just because of budget on this, on this particular unit. Right now I'm driving. Kickdown works. It drives super smooth, so I drove this on the highway with no issues. Turn signal operates. As I said, brakes are even. Brakes are fresh, so you're going to hear them squeak a little bit. But Going through the gears with no issues. No smoke, no blow-by, no hesitation on hot startup or cold startup. We're going about 50 miles per hour right now with no issues. And we're about to end at the place where we ended the last video where it died and we had to push it out of the way. See how she accelerates. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same exact thing I did in the last video. I'm gonna do a dead stop and then accelerate and you'll actually see this thing run. All right, so dead stop, here we go. Second gear.
third, and we are at cruising speed with no issues. Runs great. We're gonna turn around, we'll test out the four-wheel drive, so I'll put the system on, and we'll just go up the incline by the tracks, and then you guys can decide if this is something you wanna put in your garage. Really nice example, really fun to drive, turnkey now, and if you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. All right, so we're getting to our little incline here to test out the full drive. I'll do it a little bit sideways so you can see that it operates. This is a pretty tall one. Bumper on the ground. Bumper on the ground. So it's it crawls all the way to its limit, basically. Uh, full wheel drive does operate. So we're going to back it up now slowly. What a cool piece. Let me turn the full wheel drive off, and we will continue with our test drive. Hope you guys enjoyed that test drive. It's a Jeep thing. See you later.